Why is it that nearly 20% of people with glaucoma never have a high eye pressure? And why is it that most people that have a high eye pressure never get glaucoma? Clearly, we're missing a big picture. The common belief is that glaucoma is a one-pressure disease, intraocular pressure. But the more likely truth is that it's a balance between the intraocular pressure and intracranial pressure that matters in glaucoma. If the eye pressure is high or the intracranial pressure is low, a pressure differential is created across the optic nerve. The nerve cups backwards, and glaucoma ensues. This idea started while scuba diving with my wife. We were down just 30 feet, and at that depth, 760 millimeters of mercury is pressing everywhere on your body. And I thought, why don't scuba divers get glaucoma? It turns out it's because the pressure is being applied everywhere in your body, your eye and your tissues, and those pressures move in lockstep, and no new pressure differentials are created. And I came to believe, contrary to dogma, that it's a balance between the intraocular pressure and the intracranial pressure that really matters in glaucoma. So we studied this rigorously at the Duke University and Mayo Clinic, and we found that indeed patients with glaucoma have a low intracranial pressure. And patients with normal tension glaucoma have an even lower intracranial pressure. And patients with ocular hypertension have a high and protective intracranial pressure, just like we predicted. The big picture was being filled in, and now we can explain why patients with low pressures still get the disease. With this new tipping point in our understanding, how could we use this to help people? So while ping-ponging ideas back and forth with my business partner, we envision decoupling the eye pressure from the intracranial pressure with a pair of pressurized goggles, giving us the ability to balance the eye pressure and the intracranial pressure for the first time. Imagine the atmosphere as a big thumb pushing down on your body everywhere, adding pressure to the eye and your body. Now imagine that you put a little pair of goggles over the eye, draw a small vacuum of 10 to 15 millimeters of mercury, and now we can control the eye pressure. This pressure is translated into the eye by Pascal's law. And so for the first time, we've got total control over a patient's eye pressure. With this new understanding, we have the first non-surgical, non-pharmacologic approach to glaucoma, but total on-demand control of eye pressure. The sur the, this can be used concurrently with existing therapies, drops, or surgeries, but it's also critically important to getting the first humans to Mars. And so we're astronauts on the International Space Station are having a condition that's similar, and we're working closely with the NASA and the NSBRI to study these goggles further. And if our small company can play a large role in eradicating glaucoma and a small role in getting the first human to Mars, we'll feel like that's a pretty good day. Thanks for listening.